This result comes as quite a shock to me, and here is the reason why. If you combine all the electric cars that this manufacturer actually produces, it is clearly the third biggest electric car company in the world, significantly bigger than Volkswagen, but almost nobody has even heard of it. The thing is, it's cars, it's electric cars. They're not little, small, wheeling Hongwai Mini EVs. They're actually full-size electric vehicles. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Sam Evans. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome back to everyone else. Aon. It is the electric car brand of GAC. Probably heard of GAC, maybe. The Chinese conglomerate GAC have their own electric car brand. However, GAC also make electric cars for Toyota, Honda, Mitsubishi, and other manufacturers. But GAC's Aeon brand is outselling all of those other brands put together. And its rapid rise in EV sales in China is mind blowing. I mean, right now, this is the crazy, crazy thing here. Right now, the Chinese auto market is, it's bust, it's breaking at the seams. It's going into free fall. There are too many manufacturers, there's way too many. Here's an example, premium electric SUVs. I'm talking fully electric, not plug-in hybrids, not gasoline, not hybrid of any kind, just premium electric SUVs. There's 70 different models, 70 premium electric SUVs. That's in one segment. Now we're talking in one of 10 segments of passenger vehicles. They have 70 different models. Imagine how hard it must be to make a choice. The thing is, Many customers, instead of choosing a Tesla, a BYD, a Neo, an Xpeng, whatever it may be, they're choosing an Aeon. And they're choosing a lot of Aeons. And Aeon are saying, well, thank you very much. We'll sell you as many as you want to buy. There's no bottlenecks here. There's no pretend chip, de there's no pretend chip deficiencies. Um, actually, they're making a huge number of cars. And if you look at their recent sales figures, it's kind of a bit scary. They're following the same trajectory almost exactly as what BYD did last year. But the thing is, BYD last year weren't making a bunch of EVs for other brands at the same time. GAC are. Aeon sold 41,000 fully electric cars in the month of April. It sold 40,000 the year before. And that's its second consecutive month with more than 40,000 electric vehicle sales for its own brand alone, let alone the brands it makes as joint venture vehicles with other companies. That represents a 302% increase over the 10,200 vehicles that they sold in the same month last year, 302%, and a 2.5% increase over the 40,000 units sold in March. In January to April, GAC Aeon sold 121,520 electric cars. Now, fully electric, they don't sell plug-in hybrids like BYD. These are only fully electric cars. That's an increase of 120.24% from 55,000 units in the same period last year. So they've gone from 55,000 in the first quarter of last year to 121,000. But those numbers are a little bit misleading because for every EV that Toyota sells in China, or that Honda sell, or that Mitsubishi sell, they will say, that's a counted sale. Doesn't matter that they only own 50% of that company. So when we look a little bit deeper, you can see that their sales figures are significantly higher than what they appear to be. In fact, it appears as though vehicles manufactured by GAC have actually been delivered to, to around 150,000 customers in the first quarter of this year. That is more than the Volkswagen Group. Now the Volkswagen Group, they count EVs manufactured by other companies in China as their own. A little bit misleading, could be. But if we look at things on a fair level playing field, the reality is here, GAC make 50% of the profit when they sell the car for another car company. It's a joint venture partnership. Same thing goes for Volkswagen. So the only fair way to compare the two companies actually shows you that GAC is now selling more electric cars worldwide than the Volkswagen Group. But the big difference between the two companies is the clear advantage in the growth trajectory of one versus the other. Toyota doesn't sell any EVs. I mean, let's rule them out of this equation. 
Volkswagen Group, everyone's saying they're the third biggest company in EV sales this year. No, I would question that. But if you look at their growth trajectory, it's, well, it's almost the same as last year. In many markets, in fact, Volkswagen Group sales of EVs have declined versus the same period last year. Aon has skyrocketed. CNEVPost.com says that GAC Aon is currently selling the Aon series, targeting the mass market such as the Aon S sedan with a price range of $20,000 US dollars to around about $35,000 US dollars, depending on the model you buy. However, the company unveiled the incredible brand Hyper, like their supercar brand. Their new supercar can do zero to 62 miles an hour or zero to 100 kilometers an hour in 1.9 seconds. It looks truly amazing. And it's only $186,000. It's much cheaper than Ferraris, Porsches, Lamborghinis, cars that it's much faster than. Incredibly, it has 1,225 horsepower, even more than the Tesla Model S Plaid. In-wheel torque is 12,000 newton meters and it has 1.7 Gs of acceleration. In addition to that, it has chips based on a 900 volt platform that increase operating frequency by 2.5 times and reduce power consumption by an incredible 80%. Mass production of their supercar begins next year. You can imagine this is gonna be an incredible marketing tool for the company. It, people are gonna be buying this car, people are gonna be testing it in Europe, in America probably, all over the world, and they're gonna be saying, uh, this thing is just scary, first of all. I mean, have you ever been in a car that'll do this speed? 1.9 seconds, zero to 62 miles an hour? I don't think anyone has. I mean, maybe 0.01% of the population. This would scare the pants off you. You'd be scared out of your mind. This is not with a rollout. 1,250 horsepower in a car that is relatively small. It's not a big sedan. It's not a big SUV. This year, Aon, or GAC, the parent company, are the third biggest electric car manufacturer in the world by the numbers that I can see. It is a close race though. Hyundai, Kia, and the Volkswagen Group might have something to say about that by the end of the year. But right now, I can't believe how well this company is doing. But what is even more amazing than their current sales is their trajectory for growth. 300% growth versus the same month last year. Consistent sales increases month after month after month. We do really appear to have the next BYD. The interesting will be, the interesting thing will be whether or not the company folk chooses to do what BYD does and discontinues its internal combustion engine production and focuses fully on electric cars. If they do, they'll be a very, very, very scary company to contend with. Let me know your thoughts in the comments and thank you for watching.